Well, hello, everybody, and welcome back to this wonderful mess I call the TF2 build-off with 419 crawlers. So, I've done most of the painting on the truck. There's a little bit of things here and there I still want to do, but not a whole lot as far as the outside shell goes. It's time to start getting on to the other stuff, the fine details, the interior that I have to make work, and I got my, this dude I believe is going to be my driver. I think he'll work out pretty good for that. I went ahead and I uh, did a little smoky tent on the back window so I can get that put back in there. I 3D printed out these TF2 door panels that I found on Thingiverse. So I went ahead and downloaded that file and then printed them out. I am currently printing out some inner fenders. I don't know how well they'll sit in there. We'll get to that later in the video. And this one will hopefully go by a little bit quicker. Hopefully it won't be quite as long a video because I'm just going to do a few things and then go throughout the process as I go because I'm wanting to get this interior in there. I still have to figure out everything I'm doing. Uh, the door panels obviously are just going to glue to the inside here. And then I think I might use some polystyrene for the floorboard section. And then I start to figure out what I'm going to do for seats and console and stuff. But, so I'm just going to get on that and let's get her going. guys so this is pretty much going to wrap it up uh i wanted to hurry up and get out here because it is supposed to rain for the next three days and give this thing a quick run and go over everything i think it came out great so i get tired of taking the body on and off my tf2 with screws every time because you've always got to take these screws out every time you want to change a battery i changed a couple things up and i didn't like the way the the body pins were in the back so I put the screws in, I moved my electronics to where I could get everything fastened down right with the interior, and then for the back pins, I cut them off and drilled a hole down through them and put screws and washers, as I'm sure you saw, and then covered them with these cinder blocks, but if I need to get in there, I can still take it off. And I moved my battery to up here. Now these aren't going to be the permanent connectors, I just wasn't 100% sure what I was doing yet, so I wanted to put those in there so I could test it. But that is where the battery will now be. Um, hopefully next time you see this, Jason and I will be running together. And I'm just going to leave you guys with a nice little run of the course. And thanks for watching. Go check Jason out. And I will catch you on the next one. Stay tuned for the run.